An issue that tends to give new players trouble when starting out in Star Citizen is the subtle differences in keybinds and control setup between FPS, EVA, and ship flight. When you are flying your ship, the default configuration for keyboard binds W and S to throttle up and throttle down respectively, A and D to strafe left and right, Q and E to roll left and right, and space and control to up and down. All this sounds fine initially, but there are small differences that can confuse players when transitioning from FPS to space flight and back again. This can be mostly attributed to W and S being bound to relative throttle. The relative throttle control binding will increase the throttle as long as the throttle up key is held. Once the throttle up key is released, the throttle will stop increasing and hold its last commanded position. To decrease the throttle again, you must press and hold the throttle down key. Releasing the throttle down key will stop decreasing the throttle and hold it in the last commanded position. Relative throttle works best for bindings that have infinite output such as digital key presses or a mouse scroll wheel. Compare this to when you are walking or running around on foot. Releasing the W key will stop your movement rather than holding the speed you have set. This behaviour is what most new players would expect when flying their ships as well. Releasing the key, you would expect your ship to slow to a stop. This does not occur when bindings are set to relative throttle. When you release the W key, you continue to move forwards. This can cause a lot of players to crash into objects when trying to land or manoeuvre, as when they release the W key, they expect the ship to slow down and come to a stop, which it doesn't do. To stop, the player needs to hold the throttle down key until the throttle reaches zero. The solution for this is to rebind W and S keys to strafe forward and strafe backwards respectively. This will make the ship controls much more intuitive for mouse and keyboard users as releasing the W key will slow the ship without having to press another key. This makes the controls for flying a ship align with FPS controls, easing the transition by making the muscle memory of FPS games work in flight. Having W and S key bound to forwards and backwards strafe also means that you can strafe backwards while flying. Backward strafe is essential when attempting to fly precisely around objects or be as evasive as possible in combat. The downside of having strafe bound instead of a throttle is that it is a digital control. This means that you are unable to set your desired speed, instead, as long as the key is pressed, you're demanding full throttle in that direction. This makes strafe less optimal for long distance flight. Absolute throttle, on the other hand, is best for axes that have a physical limit to their travel. For instance, HOTUS throttles. Binding a throttle to absolute will make the throttle behave as you would expect, where the position of the physical throttle is related directly to the throttle position in game. The mouse has two different modes in operation in Star Citizen when it comes to flight control, interactive mode and relative mode. Interactive mode allows the control of the ship's directional along with aiming the ship's gimbaled weapons using a single motion. Having the line of sight marker outside of the dead zone located around the centre of the HUD will result in your ship pitching or yawing in that direction. At the same time, wherever the loss is pointed is where the ship's weapons are pointed. Relative mode differs from interactive mode in that relative mode does not control the weapons and acts more like a virtual joystick. Movement of the mouse around the screen will cause the ship to pitch and yaw in the direction that the cursor is pointed. In this mode there is no loss marker but a dead zone around the centre still exists. The direction away from centre is shown by a small blue dot on the screen. Locking your ship's gimbal weapons will remove the dead zone, making the V-Joy controls much more precise and responsive. Both of these modes work in a very similar way to how you would move around in FPS. Moving the mouse up makes your ship pitch up as your character would aim up and look up. Moving the mouse down pitches down. As flight in space does not require airflow over a wing or other lifting surface, there is no need to bank. Therefore, in a spacecraft, the fastest movement for target tracking is a combination of pitch and yaw. Both joysticks and mice can be bound the same way for flight control. Y axis, forward and back, for pitch, and X, left and right, for yaw. Roll is more of a secondary axis, but is still important. Many pilots bind roll to pedals, twist on a stick, or the default Q and E for keyboard. This of course is very personal and is totally up to what you find most intuitive. There is no right or wrong, just what you prefer. For a more in-depth look at key bindings, Bayer of Red does an excellent tutorial aimed at new players on Twitch. Bayer is one of the best combat pilots in the game and uses relative mode, non-gimbaled, V-Joy mouse and keyboard controls. Any information he shares can only improve your game. 
His Twitch channel is linked in the description. Getting your controls working for you is super important to your enjoyment of the game, in combat or not. Good hunting points. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.